so in today's video I'm going to be showing how I make a bacteria structure in Blender uh, in particular be designing or styling or making modeling the Neisseria meningitidis bacteria structure so let's get started I'm gonna start by deleting the default cube and the default lighting setup and I'm gonna add a UV sphere and I'm going to increase those segments up to about 62, 64 should be fine. And the rings to about 32. And then I'm going to rotate this along the X axis to 90 degrees. Then I will shift A to add all the transforms. Apply that and add a subdivision of 3. So once we head into our modifiers tab, I will add an array modifier and this can actually go along the Y axis, kind of like so. And with this bacteria structure, it's like two spheres merged together. So what I'm going to do is just decrease the factor Y just so they look like they're two spheres joined together um, and I think this should be good around four point sorry pardon point five the factor of point five on the Y axis should be okay and we can click merge and yeah, this is our basic setup this is our basic bacteria structure. Now we can just go ahead and apply our modifiers. We can then start adding our materials. So I'm going to just move this up a little bit, go into the shading editor or the shader editor and here I'm going to click new material and what I want, we can actually go into the materials tab as well here. And what I want to do is in the normal, I'm going to add a noise texture. I'll add a noise texture and then I'll add a bump in between that as well. And connect that to the height so now you can see that we have some texture on our bacteria structure but this is a little too strong so I actually like to decrease the strength down to about 0.6 or so and the distance to maybe 0.8 so this looks pretty good and I'm going to increase the scale over here in the noise texture to about 11 or 14 or 12, whatever you think looks best in the situation. And the details come up here and increase that. That looks pretty good. You can see some, you're getting some, some form, some structure, some materials here. And now I'm going to add the mapping and the texture coordinate. Just hit, uh, you select on the noise texture and hit Ctrl T. And we can connect from the texture coordinate, the object, to the vector. And maybe change this in the mapping change the type in the mapping to texture and I think this should be this should be about it not much to change here you can maybe play with the roughness a little bit everything is uh, up to you to this point it's not really necessary just picking out whatever you think looks good and perhaps in the principal BSDF we can Freeze the roughness and also the subsurface maybe change this to random walk and just increase that add a little bit of subsurface to our model 
and for the colors I like to add a color ramp and pick out whatever colors you prefer I in this case I'll just go for like a like a blue and maybe pink slight tinge of pink maybe we can move that here and just about there and that's pretty much it for our materials actually not much to do here if you wanted to you could actually add a color ramp in between the noise texture and the bump to control the size of the noise texture but I think in this case it's not so necessary so I might just leave it at that so right now we're done with our material setup and we can actually bring this down a little bit and go back maybe into the timeline though it won't be necessary in this case um, so now I'm gonna start with uh, our particle setup and I'm gonna use a particle system in this situation and I'll move our structure along the Y axis I'll add a cube again and go into the particle system so here I can actually increase this so you can see this a little bit better I will start with the frame start uh, it starts at 1 and ends at 1, so we can see all the mm, particles, all our virus or bacteria <laughs> structures. So I'm going to just decrease this to about 100. We don't need that many. And in the render settings, I'm going to select render as an object. And our object will be our bacteria structure that we just created in the viewport display. I'll click or deselect show emitter and already we can see something happening here. Our virus bacteria structure, I don't know why I keep saying virus, bacteria structure is being um, emitted here. So we can actually go back we just go back in render view and we can go back to our source and click emit from volume just so it's scattered out a little bit more evenly within the sphere and I also like to uh, select rotation and I can just randomize that just so it doesn't look too structured we can randomize the way the bacteria structure is distributed in our cube. That looks pretty good. Um, we won't need the field weight settings because I mean I'm getting a still out of this and not so much an animation. So gravity won't really be necessary in this tutorial. So. This is looking pretty good. Actually, here in the render, I'm going to deselect show emitter. And now we can start setting up our theme. So I'm going to click the camera icon. Hmm, actually, use this again. Go into the camera view, lock this, and start trying to find an angle you'd like to render from. This is totally up to you as an individual. Um, my camera setup doesn't, my, most of my camera setups don't turn out so well. Um, so this is entirely optional. I think this one should be good. And I'm going to click the camera, then go into the settings and click depth of field. And I'm just going to reduce this to or the focus distance to about 0.4 and maybe also 
increase the f-stop to about 4.5 this is what i just seen working for me it's entirely optional and uh, this is what we're gonna get of course we still have to add our lighting to the scene and that's what we're gonna do next so for lighting i like to open up just another section over onto the left could be your left or your right doesn't really matter in this case and then from here i can start adding the lights depending on what we look good so i like to add a an area light and we can actually rotate this along the x-axis to 90 degrees and maybe rotate that the other way so negative 90 and move that along the y-axis and go like so and then we can actually add another one Rotate along the x-axis, 90 degrees, and we can move that as well along the y-axis. Just so we have some light coming from both sides. And that looks pretty darn good so far very simple lighting i don't like it to be too complicated and we can actually go into the world view and maybe change the color the background color or the world color to like a dark blue just go down a notch kind of like so almost to a close to a black but not entirely so that looks pretty good and that's pretty much it for our lighting and as you can see here i'm just gonna close this now as you can see um our camera is not um focusing and so you can just set this up however you want really it the camera setup i always leave that to individuals because you choose whatever looks best we can actually take this out or remove the depth of field and we would have that and it looks it actually looks really really good but this is in Eevee and we can actually change this to cycle and this is what we have so in cycles if we go back and increase the depth of field this is kind of what we get and we'd have to play around with the camera a little bit so maybe for this tutorial I'll just leave it out and uh, when you render this is kind of what you get so this is our final render uh, I actually rendered this in 4k and use cycles the cycles render engine and this is kind of what we get so looks pretty good um, I would still like to use um, I would have still love to use some depth of field in this but so far this looks pretty good and i hope you liked this video if you did or didn't <laughs> hit a like or a dislike or comment on what you think i could improve or if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye